welcome my amazing viewers thank you so much for joining me on my program once again i appreciate you wherever you are connecting from if you have not subscribed to my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel click the notification bell so that you be notified each time i upload a video you will be among the first to receive it thank you so much and remember blessed whenever you look my video whenever you watch my video share the video to all platforms share it to family and friends share it in your whatsapp group so that people can get information on what is happening in the contraption called nigeria mainly against the beer france against the Duduas, against the indigenous people in the country called nigeria i try as much as possible to set the record straight i don't preach hate speech i don't speak against people i set the record straight the only important thing i do here is to make sure that the plight of the people remains on the front corner and the world will know the true story of what is going on in the country called nigeria these attacks and it's not just in kanam or wasi across other local government in plateau still hangs in the air and I'd like you to take a look at, at this. I mean, we chronicled some of the attacks we have seen in the state over the past few months, starting from uh, January. And we start from January the 9th, uh, where the wife of a deputy chief of staff uh, was abducted in Little Rayfield, Ray that's in, uh, in, in, in just metropolis. She was eventually rescued. So that was on January the 9th. Then January the 11th, 18 people were killed six injured in Ansha village in Basa local government area, yet another local government area. Then January 12th, three students were abducted in Bam village in Barkinladi local government area. They were eventually rescued. And then fast forward to January the 16th, where the traditional ruler of Wang was kidnapped in just south local government area. He was rescued, thankfully. On January 22nd, four people were killed, one injured in Dong in just north local government area. Then February the 25th, traditional ruler uh, of Maraba pushed it kidnapped in Mango local government area. So I've chronicled at least four local government areas where we've seen attack attacks. In April 12th, 10 people were killed and 19 injured in Chando Zarechi. It was during a traditional rite ceremony in Basa local government area. Then April 9th, just seven days after, the commissioner's wife and daughter was kidnapped in Kid Gindiri in Mango local government area. It's still unclear uh, what the situation of that kidnap is. And, of course, this one that we're talking about, 106 people killed in 10 villages across Kanam and Wase local government areas. A lot of questions uh, jump out. But why are we seeing these attacks uh, across local government areas in Plateau State? Have you been able to find an answer to that question? Yeah, well, uh, uh, the answer is not far fetched. Uh, the answer is multifaceted. Uh, the, the reasons are multifaceted. One uh, is being done by criminal elements. Uh, uh, all of them are criminals, uh, so to say. One is being done by, by people that would want to, uh, to, 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 to enhance their economy by forcefully taking away people, kidnapping people, and then asking for ransom. Another phase of it is uh, by warring communities uh, in the protection of their land, while some people want to grab uh, land. Uh, and the, this one that happened in Kanam is neither of the two, even though, they, as the chairman has said, there are states of uh, kidnappings in the past, but the, the Kanam uh, one, is uh, the dimension is different because the, the, if you diagnose it, you would see that these are people that came in their droves, in their in their in, in numbers, in motorcycles to come and kill people. Uh, but for those that are kidnapping, uh, some people get killed. Uh, they, it's for economic reasons they want to to get money, and some of it uh, too in Basa, particularly is about warring with communities. And as I talk to you today, uh, the His Excellency the Governor is going to Basa to go and dialogue with the, the Fulani community there and the, the Rigue community there. I will be going there in the, in the afternoon. Uh, so if you look at it, you would see that everybody has his reasons for doing the things that they're doing, even though uh, we will not, uh, we will not uh, give a, we will not okay what is happening because it takes a toll, as like I have said, on, on the people, like I've said, if, even if an animal is killed, there's no, we are not happy as a government. Even if it is one person that is killed, we are not, we are saddened by the situation. Not to even talk of four, three, 19, and, and on and on to over a hundred 
uh, it is unacceptable and it is a matter that has to be taken by everybody. And let me tell you, uh, we are not happy about the situation that is happening, but uh, the, the, it's, it shows that the country is under siege. And if the country is under siege, a serious measure has to be taken by our brothers at the National Assembly to arrest the situation. Yesterday, I watched uh, the proceedings of bo both houses, and I saw how uh, our members uh, spoke with violence, spoke uh, against this, and we, we, thought, we think that from what is happening, uh, action is going to be taken by both the legisl legislature and by both uh, the executive at the highest level by the president himself. Right. So uh, I'll come to that point you just raised, uh, because it's, it's puzzling, really. The governors seem to want state police or want more control. And I imagine that the representatives in the National Assembly, of course, align with the governors as well. But nothing is being done. And you keep saying that the, the lawmakers should do that. But just I wanted to declare something that, 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 that was talked about, uh, the kidnap of the, uh, the commissioner's wife and daughter. Uh, on April the 9th. Um, not much has been heard about that. Do you have an update on that kidnapping and what is being done? Yes, the update that we have now is that uh, the contact has been established with the wife and the daughter and uh, ransom has been, has been uh, sought for, has been asked, and, uh, but the security is closing in, uh, taking action, making sure that the 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 the, host, the the people taken captive uh, released like in, in the past uh, some of the people were released without ransom, ransom being paid like the, the the wife of the deputy chief of staff was released a doctor was released the dagon ray of one was released and uh, without ransom being paid and so we the we, the security is up and doing to make sure that the situation uh, that, that we, that we, the, the wife and the daughter of our colleague uh, are released, and that the other people, that, that, that other, this, this kind of occurrences will be reduced to the barest minimum. It's an unfortunate development that that is the update that we have about the wife and daughter of our colleague. Definitely wish for the very best and good news uh, from that kidnapping. Back to the point I raised about the governors say they want more control. Some say state police, some others, say, some others say that they want at least to be able to be the security, uh, the chief security officers, not just on paper, but in reality. And you have said the lawmakers should do something. I imagine the lawmakers also align with you. So really, is it not double talk? We say we want one thing, but we're not doing what we say we want. Where exactly is the problem here? Yeah, well, uh, you know, there's nobody that's immune to these uh, these criminals. Uh, not not the governor is the governor is not immune. Uh, I am not immune. The lawmakers are not immune, and I can tell you that uh, he who feels it knows it. Uh, the 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 onus now rests upon the lawmakers. When you invite them to channels, you ask them why they are tarrying. Uh, they may be able to tell you the reasons for why they don't want to give the governors the, 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 the teeth to back. Uh, we would be more than happy if we hear from them. But from what is happening from the proceedings of both chambers yesterday, I can assure you that has a long, positive uh, is going to come. Pardon me, Mr. Manjang. Has the governor uh, spoken with lawmakers from your state, House of Reps, and the Senate saying, this is the position. This is what we need to be done. So please go to the floor and table this. Has he done that? Yeah, times without number. When the constitution was being amended, uh, we were there. Uh, the, the, the present chairman of the, of, of the party, of our great party, APC, uh, was the chairman of the Constitutional Review Committee. He, did, okay. he came to Plateau State and people sub submitted memoranda. The state government had a position. And that position was clearly known. Part of what we are saying that governors should be giving the teeth to back in terms of security was part of the submission of Plato State Government. Okay. Well, Mr. Thank you so much for your patience to watch from the beginning to the end. 
I hope you have learned something from the video you have just watched. The video you have just watched is to bring information to your doorstep and for educational purpose. It is not to demonize anybody. Let us watch continuously and see who can be able to make a sense out of every nonsense we are seeing. We must continue. We move. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they say. They will kill us. We will kill them. At the end of the day, Biafra is here. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you notify each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember bless. Bye bye. See you again. <music>